Hey guys, it's Joey. So, I just wanted to do this quick video because I saw this article on thehollywoodreporter.com that Showtime is very likely not to renew or revive Twin Peaks again. And I've been seeing this just go around to a lot of the, the Twin Peaks blogs and, and Twitter pages and groups. And I just wanted to, to tell everybody, I wanted to... The, the, the title of the article is very clickbaity. Um, because it, it, the title is verbatim, Twin Peaks likely won't be revived again at Showtime. Okay. Well, that seems pretty serious. That doesn't... I mean, that's, that's a pretty bold statement. And then... In the first paragraph of the article, it says, and this is a quote from Showtime CEO David Nevins. He says, I don't think so, but it's not impossible. David Lynch and I are both avoiding the conversation for a while. We want the story to, we want to let the story coalesce and see how people feel at the end. So, right in the first paragraph, it's he's not saying no. He's saying they're going to wait and see it. See how it goes. Uh, I know David Lynch has said he's he would be interested in making more if there was more to tell. If him and Mark uh, felt there was more story they wanted to tell, I don't think there's ever been a straight up no. I don't think David Lynch has ever said he will not do more Twin Peaks even even before this whole revival. I don't think David Lynch ever said that Twin Peaks was never going to happen. It was just never something that was on the forefront of his mind until like a couple of years ago. So I just wanted to clarify what this article actually said. And then it goes and talks about sort of the, the, the ratings, uh, which it seems like it opened with about 600,000 viewers, uh, growing to 800,000, which I think is pretty solid. It's not millions and millions, but... Uh, for a show that's been essentially dead and a cult success for 25 years, I think it's pretty pretty good. Um, let's see. This is this also a quote from Nevins. Yes, Nevins also says, "I'm really happy with the performance. It drove our business in a way that almost nothing else could. It's been interesting, and maybe it's a blinding glimpse of how Netflix looks at the world." Uh, it had a palpable effect on subscribers, even though its overall numbers are not as big as our biggest shows, but it has a very palpable effect on subscribers for multiple months now. So the subs it doesn't have as many ratings as the biggest shows, but it also brought in a ton of subscribers. So I feel like a, a good way to keep a lot of the, the subscribers and maybe have a uh, to get more is to keep the show on and maybe get into discussions to make a season four. Uh, I know there was a lot of issues. Uh, they kind of want, we're going to do it without David Lynch for a while because David Lynch's demands were too high. Maybe he wanted too much money. I, I'm not, too, I still am not clear on what that was, but it seems like um, may, maybe there's still a little tension there. Who knows? Uh, but I th there's no straight, there's no surefire no. Nobody has said this is not going to happen. Um, so they got their, they got a high subscriber count. That It's all good news for the most part. It's a, a way higher proportion of streaming than anything else. So the streaming numbers are huge, as I thought. I've said this in previous videos. Streaming numbers are probably crazy. The second quarter has always been our weakest quarter and was up 11%. And you can assume that Showtime was uh, up a higher percent to drive that. And this is all from Twin Peaks. He knows this is all from Twin Peaks. He's seen the numbers. Um, apparently, David Lynch has been in France since the premiere, Nevin says. I promise we're not even going to have those conversations about bringing the show back until the thing airs. David Lynch has been in France pretty much since the premiere event we had. So after, I guess after the Cannes thing, David Lynch has stayed there. And this article is from today, I believe. Uh, August, August 8th, yes. So, there you go. Not, no, no, no real definite cancellation. Uh, it's all in the air, really. It's going to see how it does as an overall picture. I'm sure they're going to gauge how DVD and merch 
and Dice are all they're gonna equate that all in the side talk with David Lynch see what he wants to do and Mark Frost and see where it goes from there so there's no definite no but uh, it's up in the air so I wouldn't get I wouldn't get your hopes up but I wouldn't be uh, I wouldn't be too cynical about a possible season four either or some other form of the show maybe uh, another movie all right guys that's all I'm not even gonna edit this I'm just gonna upload it uh, that's all I really wanted to talk about because I, I just I saw it, it sort of was everywhere. This this article was everywhere today, and I just wanted to make something clear on my channel. Hope the, a lot of people that were concerned see this, that didn't get a chance to read the article. And if this is news to you, then you're in the clear. <laughs> All right, guys, I shall catch you very soon.